Kayla Brace. Justice. Justice is defined as moral rightness based on ethics, rationality, law, fairness, and equity. William Gladstone once wrote that justice delayed is justice denied. Did he mean distributive justice? Did he mean procedural justice? Restorative justice? Retributive justice? What did he mean? Aristotle defined it as a balancing act of moderation towards oneself and others. Regardless though of how we want to define this abstract correctness, we are aware that there is a difference between things being just and things being unjust. Hell, according to Plato, he wasn't sure of what justice was, but he knew what justice was not. In respect to this concept, justice, I want to talk specifically on distributive justice, which is the proper allocation of things like wealth, power, and reward between different people. Distributive justice refers to, more specifically, what society owes its individual members in proportion to their needs and their available resources. The principles behind distributive justice imply that society has a responsibility to the individual and that all individuals have responsibility to their society. Everyone is entitled to equal access to basic care necessary for living. In other words, allocation of resources should not be based upon judgments of the quality of the individual, but equally allocated. Benefits and burdens should also be distributed in a just manner. Egalitarianism is at the heart of distributive justice, but egalitarian thinkers equate everyone's fortune in simple dollars. However, identical income does not automatically yield the same accrued wealth. Wealth depends on how the income is used saved, invested, or squandered. Relative inequalities of wealth are certain to appear, regardless of distributive justice. How can a community expect to make everything equal when in truth all people are not equal? So you have to anticipate some inequalities. Nevertheless, in many societies, the richest 10% control more than half of the total wealth. So maybe there is a problem. Many societies have attempted to shrink the disparities through property redistribution, uh, taxation, and financial regulations. The early Roman Republic had laws actually uh, limiting the amount of wealth and land that could be owned by any one family. Well, is that the kind of distributive justice that is needed or desired? Whatever we think, Whatever we think, the truth is that wealth and power disparities will continue to widen. And the call for a more just world is heard louder and louder every year. My question to my fellow intellectuals is this. Can distributive justice be truly just? Does it mean everyone is given the same resources based on needs? Or that people are given what he or she deserves based on their merit? even if that results in inequality. Is justice just an idle term? I would have to say that I see distributive justice as only amplifying mediocrity. It is one thing to allow for equal health care and equal education and access to fresh water and food, but to redistribute wealth from a central location is more than just romantic. It is unrealistic and silly. Wealth and power should be earned through a meritocratic or merit-based system. Those who work hard should be rewarded with more. Uh, I'm a fan of Karl Marx and love the beauty behind a communistic society, but the truth, the truth, it cannot work. Either the central point of redistribu uh, redistribution will become corrupt or the community will be riddled with disproportionate productivity from the workforce, meaning those who work hard and those who do not work enough will receive equal shares. And I ask you, is that fair? 
Real distributive justice should be concerned with equal access to opportunities. Equal access does not guarantee equal outcomes. Distributive justice, in my opinion, is crap. Wealth disparity will always exist, but we can certainly narrow the gaps by providing the people of the world with the resources to be productive and live a full life. As the old adage goes, you can bring a horse to water, but you cannot make it drink. In this case, we can provide the opportunity, but we cannot guarantee success. This is Caleb Reese. What do you know?